Mitch McGovern, number 11, season review. He he gave us the five matches this year, and it's pretty hard to give him a rating and a, and a review for the season when he didn't play, you know, anywhere near as many games as we would have liked to see, and I'm sure he would have liked to see. But, I mean, ultimately... He's such he's such an enigma because I feel like when he does play, you know, we're naturally we're a better side, and obviously he's been a a big marquee recruit, you know, no different to someone like a Zach Williams, and um, I guess he's someone that has you know a bit of expectation on him and his performance by by me and and by the fans as well, and you know he's a hard one because when he does play, I feel like he plays with the passion required and all those little things and backing up your teammates and, you know, hitting opponents hard and crashing packs and, and doing all of those things. Um, I just, I'm left wanting more. And I guess partly it's because I know he's got more to give. Uh, I, I think, I don't think the best footy that he's ever played in his life has come at Carlton. Unfortunately, I think the best footy up to, you know, up until this point in time, I think the best footy that I've ever seen him play is at Adelaide. Um, and that's just something I want to see at Carlton from him. I want to see him at his best. Um, I thought just before the injury, and I, you look at the stats, and it, it probably doesn't paint the right picture about his season, but that Essendon game, I know it's it'll, it'll say nine possessions and a goal, but there was something about him that day where I've actually thought to myself, like, something's clicked. Um, the way he was covering the ground, the effort... Uh, there was just something about him that was different that day, even getting into the, maybe it was the fight. Maybe that's what got me on board. But um, it was a shame that he did his hamstring the way he did, you know, rounds 22 and round 23. They're just, you know, whatever they are, it was good for him to get back um, and play a few games. I'm sure that would have been something on his mind. He wants to play. He wants to be good. I'm sure he wants to contribute. Um, it just, it hasn't worked so far. It didn't work for him this year. The injury is is really the thing that, that cost him. And, and we hope that, he has a big preseason and comes back in 2022 and has a career best year. That's that's just really where I think you know my mind is with Mitch at the moment. Uh, I think he's got it all there to give, and it's just a matter of putting it all together in a season for us to to enjoy. Um, one thing that's interesting, obviously, Tiggy's not going to be with us for 2022 and beyond as a head coach, and. It's going to be interesting to me to see what we do with this forward structure. Are we going to continue wanting to go forward with, you know, Harry, Charlie, and Mitch as the forwards, as well as maybe arresting Ruckman at times? I'm not really sure. Talks about him always surface uh, with respect to playing in defense and, and, and filling a role back there. And is he a potential long term replacement for someone like a Liam Jones, or do we have to reshuffle him? I'm not really sure where I sit on that. I think I kind of want to see him play 10 games in a row, you know, like, or, or just a full season or get 20 plus games in a season from him before I really have an opinion on where I'd like to see him play. I just, for me, yeah, I'm still waiting for him to be fully fit and at his, at his optimal. That's really what I'm waiting for before I can really judge, oh, do we put him back? I don't think it's a, it's a situation where, you know, you give up on him. I think that's just not how it works. That's not how footy clubs work. That's not how we work as, as the Carlton Football Club. We, we back in our people, um, whether you like it or not. So it's tough. I'm left wanting more. I know he's got more to give. And I, I just hope that we see it, you know, next year and beyond. But yeah, this, this is a really interesting one. What about you? How do you feel about Mitch McGovern? It, like I said before, it's very hard to give a proper critique of his season because he only played the five games. But I think this this one is more of a high level conversation. Like, where do you see his role moving forward? Do you still see us moving forward with this forward setup, or would you like to see him in defence? Let me know in the comments, and we'll chat about it there.